Hey there fellow hungry travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're going to talk about the eats of Germany, or more like the most Germany German things that you should have when you're here. And you know what, we've got to start off with probably the most German of the Germaniness, the sausages, the Wurst. Yes, there are lots and lots of bratwurst when you're here. There's lots and lots of sausage you can have when you're here, and you're going to have a lot, and you well should, whether you're me, or you're my mom, or my kids. Sausages ray when you're here and probably the most important one to have is the Thuringer Bratwurst So the Thuringer Bratwurst is just a type of bratwurst that you'll see on the street People will be selling it in little stands or they might see a person like carrying it like in a backpack and they're cooking it in front of them But that is the definition of a perfect bratwurst now What's cool is sometimes you can get it at a half meter size, okay? So that can be a bit crazy, but Thuringer Bratwurst, that is your traditional bratwurst that you're used to and you know and that you're gonna love with some zen, some mustard on top. Now, there are a lot of other versts, a lot of other sausages when you're here. If you're down in Bavaria in the south, there's Weisswurst or white sausage, which is really, really good. And they serve that with a sweet mustard and a pretzel, which is very nice. Now, if you're down in Nuremberg, Nuremberg's famous for the Nuremberger sausages or the Nuremberger Wurst. And the thing is, is you might recognize a Nuremberger sausage when you see it because it looks like a breakfast link sausage, okay? And the thing is, they're small and they're tiny. And if you go to Nuremberg, you can get a plate and they'll actually give you like a plate of 30 of them. But if you're walking around and have it, they'll give you a little roll with three or four inside with some mustard. That's a great way to go, especially in Nuremberg. That is a must when you're there. And if you're in Berlin, you probably have the most popular one that's become like a super trend snack in Germany and other places around the world. You have Currywurst, which is curry sausage. Now, you may think, oh, it's a curry bratwurst. I'm like, no, it's a normal bratwurst. But what they do is they put curry spices into ketchup and make it a curry ketchup. And what they do is they chop it up and then they drown it in the curry ketchup and with some fries. It's fantastic. And honestly, if you're looking for some food thing to take back home from Germany, get some curry ketchup and take it home with you because that stuff is the bomb. And sometimes you can actually find the good stuff at Aldi back in the US. So there is that for you. Now, if you're looking for more of your traditional like hot dog kind of sausage though, there's a different, lot of different names, a lot of different things that kind of go on there, but the closest one you're gonna find is either a Frankfurter or a Bockwurst, okay? Those are two ones that are the, I feel clo resemble the closest to a hot dog or a Wiener Wurst, or a, a Viennese sausage. You'll see those as well, but Basically on the street, your sausage choice is gonna be that tongue of bratwurst. That's gonna be your go-to walk around snack kind of thing. Great, great, uh, great street food here in Germany, okay? Now, moving away from our sausages, because you know Germans eat more than sausage, I think. Yes, they do. They eat a lot of pork as well, and you will see pork, pork, and more pork when you're here. You can get a pork steak, a schwein steak. That's a, a popular cut of meat. But one that you'll see probably the most is actually schnitzel. And I know when you have schnitzel, traditionally schnitzel is made out of veal. But here in Germany, veal is more expensive, and so you have a lot of places that give you pork schnitzel. Well, they actually, sometimes you see chicken schnitzel, but it'll be a pork schnitzel, which is the pork just beaten to a flattened thing. They bread it and fry it. It is super good. And there's a lot of different schnitzels you can have. My personal favorite is Jäger schnitzel, which has mushrooms and cream sauce on top. Oh, so good. So good. You can't go wrong with that. Other pork things you might want to have when you're here. When you go around, you might see a thing called frikadelle, um, which is basically, I would call it a meatball sandwich that you'll see the same place that sell you like the currywurst and the bratwurst, they'll have those there. But the most important pork product here in Germany for me is Schweinhaxe or basically you're calling it like pork shoulder or pork knuckle, you'll see that on there. And if you ever played a video game and they gave you like the ham hock kind of thing where it's the bone and the meat on it and it gives you all your energy back, that's what it is. And when you have one, you understand. And there's different ways you can have it. If you're in Berlin, they'll call it ice bine and it's like boiled, okay? But if you're in other parts, they put it on a grill and roast it around and the fat and the skin and the outside gets all crispy and so good. Oh, you have to have it. Like that is my go-to, okay? And in certain places you can get Schäufle, which is kind of a similar cut as well. You'll see that we've had that a lot in Bamberg, but you don't see it all over the place. So Schweinhaxen, Haxen, go for it. Now, other meat dishes you might see, there is beef is here as well. You can get sauerbraten, which basically says sour roasting. But basically it's a long cooked piece of meat, which is nice. Also, you can get a rolled up beef, uh, Rindrolladen, which is basically beef rolled up with some stuff. That's actually a nice thing to have. I see that a lot on some like lunch menus. It's very popular around the country, but there, there, there's plenty of meats. There's also plenty of fish you can have when you're here as well. Um, but I think one of the other things that's important when you're here is the bread, okay? And yes, you can have a pretzel, a pretzel, and of course you want to dip this in mustard, by the way, when you're here. 
it's so good. And if you're having a big old beer, it goes together perfectly. So you have that. But you'll notice around Germany, there's tons and tons of bakeries because they make fantastic breads. And mornings, breakfasts for you when you're here, you're gonna have these little rolls, okay? They're called Brotkin, which is little bread, or Zemmel, depending where you are and what kind of German they speak. And you'll have different kinds, like plain white bread versions, so you have multi-grain versions. My mom's favorite is this one that has uh, pumpkin seeds on the top of it. Like, we search it out when we come to Germany, don't we, Mom? Like, to find it, because it's so good. But you'll have that, and I gotta warn you, when you have breakfast in Germany, it is going to be the rolls, and then you're gonna have cold cuts, like ham, cheese, salami, and slices of cheese, and probably hard-boiled or soft-boiled eggs. Like, that's traditional German breakfast. Like, that's what you're gonna have. And it's funny, because when Germans travel to the U.S., a lot of times, they'll complain to the hoteliers, we don't want pancakes and eggs and bacon. We want our Scheibe. We want our you know, ham and cheese cuts with our bread. So just be aware of that when you're here at restaurants and you're staying at hotels. And if you want to try some for breakfast that's a little more cereal-based, go for the muesli. It's that mix of, like, you look at it and you're like, I'm going to be regular today after I eat this, okay? So you have that. Yogurt's also very popular to have at breakfast time, so you do have that. But going back to the bread stuff, also, if you go to the bakeries, you'll see they'll have all these pre-cut pieces of cake of all different kinds, okay? And I know we're here in the Freiburg, which is in the Black Forest. You might think, oh, Black Forest cake. I'm like, yes, there is that. But for me, if you can get any kind of fruit cakes, not like fruit cake like you get at Christmas, but it's a cake that has a fruit topping on it, that's always wonderful. Germany is also great with Pfannkuchen, which are basically different kinds of fried dough with powdered sugar on it. And whatever size and form you can get it, get it, because they're amazing. And you have that. And the thing is, the bakeries are all over the country. You can grab stuff all during the day, have it for a snack. If you've got your kids, I recommend if you're pushing around in a stroller, go get them a Boltkin, get them a roll. They'll gnaw on that for a couple hours while you go see the sights, so that's really nice, okay? And honestly, you can never go wrong with a good apple strudel, right? So you have that. Now, looking to the side dishes, which I think are very important because for me, the side dishes here in Germany are some of the best things you have because you have, you know, traditional Kartoffelsalat, potato salad and the very different versions they have it here. Sometimes you'll have it warm, sometimes you'll have it cold, sometimes you just want it all. You have that. You might have all these different versions of potatoes on the side. There's one that's called Bauenkartoffeln, which is like uh, farmer's potatoes, which basically they're kind of sliced up and then kind of, not, they're fried, not like french fries, but they're like fried up in a pan, which is really good. A little little speck, a little bacon in there. That's wonderful. Also, you can look in for, for the noodles. Spätzle. Spätzle is a special kind of German noodle you'll have, and you can have it plain, or you can have Käse Spätzle, which is cheese Spätzle. Oh, that is a great side dish. I know some people enjoy the knödel, which are dumplings. And the thing is, you can have potato dumplings, you can have bread dumplings, um, you can actually have liver dumpling. Like liver dumpling soup is actually really good for a starter. You can do that. And in Germany, and well, as well as when it's different seasons, different like veggies are in season, you can get so much. Like when strawberry seasons, and there's a great things there. Or we're here now during Spargel season, uh, asparagus season. White asparagus. Oh my gosh! If you're here and they have asparagus, eat it. The Germans love it and they'll be mad if you don't have some so definitely check that out when you're here but let's be honest what's the side dish we all know about from germany sauerkraut yes you can get sauerkraut when you're here and if you're not a big sauerkraut fan my mom and i we're not the biggest sauerkraut fans we're actually big on rotkohl which is that purple cabbage that sweet purple cabbage with some apples in it oh so good and so regular making if you catch my drift and then we have our drinks here in Germany. And obviously the beer is a big thing here. But you have to realize there's lots of different kinds of beer. This is a Weizen beer or a wheat beer I have. You can get Pilsner beers, which are more like the beers you have in the US, like a Budweiser kind of like clear beer. Um, then you have Schwarzbier, a black beer, which is a little bit sweet, like a, in the Guinness family, it's fantastic. And Kustrotze is a fantastic beer to have. Um, you can have, well, well, actually what I should tell you is, don't buy any beer specifically from Germany. When you're traveling around Germany, buy the local beer. So if you're in Berlin, you have Berliner Kindle. If you're here in Freiburg, you have Ganta. If you're in Bremen, you'll have Bex. I'm like, people are very much regional beer drinkers here and you'll notice the difference. That's why when people ask, what's the national beer of Germany? Yeah, they're not, I mean, Wachsteiner maybe or Bex. That's the one that's all over the place. But people really have their local beer when you're here. So do that and have that because if you get the local Altbier, like in, in Dusseldorf, it's gonna be very different. That's what people like to drink there, versus if you're up in Flensburg and having Flensburg and Pils in the north of Germany, okay? So something to be aware of. But what you need to realize, for alcohol, 
beer is not the only alcohol in Germany. There's actually a lot of great wine when you're here. If you go to the Mosul or the Rhine Valleys, you can do wine tours there and go. I mean, it's so much fun. You get to learn about the wine and have the food to go along with it. It's a fantastic experience. I've taken students there. I've done by myself there. I've done my parents here, my kids there. But the wine, it's white wine is the best here. Riesling, it can be sweet or dry. There's a lot of different versions of it, but that's the wine you want to have when you're here. Also, you can have what's called Apfelschule. And this is a non-alcoholic drink. Yes, there are non-alcoholic drinks here in Germany, okay? Apfelschule is basically take really good apple juice and put bubble water with it. That's what you have. Oh, this is like, this is, if you're hot in the summer, this is the refreshing thing that changes the day. So you want to have that. Also, you may wonder, Mark, can we drink the water in Germany? Yes, you can drink the water in Germany. How do you think they make such good beer? Duh. And one thing is you can drink the tap water just fine. The locals though, they like to have Wasser mit Gas, water with gas. So they like their bubble water when they're here. So be prepared for that. If you just order water, they probably might bring you just bubble water. So you might want to ask for, you know, Wasser ohne Gas, water without gas, or stilles Wasser, still water. And that'll help you out there. And with all this heavy food, you might wonder, Mark, how am I going to like be able to sleep at night? How am I going to digest? Well, what's great is there's two great, well, there's actually more, but there's two popular digestives here in Germany that unfortunately in the US, one of them has become more of a college drunk shot, but Jägermeister and Unterberger, those are two shots that honestly, if you have one of those heavy fat meals and you're like, oh, I feel horrible, have a shot of Jägermeister or have the little bottle of, of, of Unterberger and it really does help your stomach digest and you'll feel better really quickly. I didn't believe it, but I've had enough experience now that I totally do believe it because I had some bad experience with Jägermeister back in college. So I tried to avoid it, but I was so full one day, my buddy gave me a shot and I'm like, after five minutes, I'm like, hey, I feel good again. So I hope this helps you know some of the things you can eat when you're here in Germany. If you're looking for some more international fare or non, things people don't think that's typical German, there's so much international food here in Germany. You can eat great Spanish food, great Italian food, because Germans really love food from all around the world. Great Indian food, obviously uh, great Turkish food when you're here. You have a lot of Turkish immigration here. Probably the one thing you'll see the most that people have are donor kebabs. That's like my go-to uh, snack when I'm, I'm out. If I want to have something on the go, it's you know the, the bread in there with the sliced up meat and the veggies and the sauce. Oh, of course, it's also mm, so good. That's one of you had a few drinks. It's a good thing to finish off your night to sober you up and help you sleep and have wonderful dreams of Germany. So I hope this helps you know some of the things you can eat and enjoy when you're here in Germany. Obviously, there are so many more fantastic foods and snacks here in Germany. Please put in the comment section below so we can have more fun foods to talk about and enjoy when we're in Germany or other travelers are there. And I'll say a special thank you to our patrons on Patreon and our members on YouTube. And I just want to say, if you want to help out, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to see how you can help out us to make more honest travel videos and honest food videos all around the world. And I'll say bye from here in Freiburg, Germany. I also got to finish my beer and my pretzel. So you have a good one. Bye or guten appetit, which is good appetite, or bon appetit, as you may know. Tschüss.